Hi everyone, in this video I'll help you understand that how you can solve this reference star match error if you are getting this error while performing the astrometric data reduction using your astrometrica software. Well, there could be a lot of reasons because of which you might get this error. So the first way to solve this is you click on the second option and click on OK. If it still pops up this, you click on the second option, try to increase the number of stars. Let's say I'm going to keep it 500. And then again, if it is popping up this, it means that at least one of the images out of the four is a faulty one. So in that case, instead of uploading four images in the image set that you're working, you upload a set of three images. Okay, you can say that one, two, three. So let's say if the fourth image was faulty, then if you're uploading only the one, two, three images, then this kind of error will not happen. Okay, let's say if the error was present in the second image, then if you're uploading one, three, four, and then you will not see this kind of an error. And according to the guidelines given by the MPC, we know that if out of four, we are able to see the object in at least three of the images, then we can submit our MPC report. So that's the reason, that's the second way to solve it. If the second option in this error is not helping you sort it out and it keeps on giving you this uh, error, then you can do that, okay? But let's say even that is not working out for you. You tried all the three combinations and none of them is working. In that case, there might be some of the issues with respect to the server which your astrometrica is using in terms of like, you know, the internet settings. So you need to change that internet settings to something else and then see if it's going to work or not. So in my case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel this. Then I'll go to the settings option. I'll go to the internet tab. Then over here, I'll choose my server to Harvard USA. I'll save. Okay, and now again perform the astrometric data reduction. And this time it should work. All right. So always make sure that you're going ahead and trying this particular thing that is changing the server by going into the internet settings of the astrometrica. And it should work. If the previous method is not working, okay, when let's say the combinations of the three images are not working, then you can go with this method. And uh, you can see that now it is working fine. I can also perform the moving object detection right in front of you just to know that everything is working fine. So this process is a bit time consuming. So I'll just fast forward the video and let's see when it completes. All right, so even this step is completed. You can cross this out and go for the non object overlay. Again, it's going to take some time. So yeah, let me fast forward it. And that's it. As you can see that the known object overlay is completed. You can now go ahead with the blinking of the images and then just zoom on one of them to see that if it's working fine or not. So I'll just scroll to the extreme. Over here also you can see that it's moving and you can scroll down. You can see that even this is moving. So it is working fine. Now you're in the position to scan this whole image, use your observational skills and create your MPC report for the unknown moving objects or the moving objects or let's say if there are no moving objects. I hope you are aware about how to create all the different types of MPC reports. I hope this video has helped you in understanding how you can use the internet settings to change your server of the astrometrica and solve that issue of the reference star match error in case if the combination of the three images were not working for you. Thank you so much.